Hello my perfume lovers, addicts, fanáticas del perfume como yo. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I have the same makeup and the same hair from the previous video because I'm killing two birds with one stone. Why not? Okay, you know? So, this video is about uh, two dupes that I found, okay? Uh, one of them, uh, C from uh, C Chronicles talked about on her channel and I was very curious about it. So I was like, hmm, I kept researching and researching and I decided to get it. And um, so I have the originals, a sample, of course, because they're niche, like, you know, what I told you about staying in my financial lane. And then uh, the other one is the the dupe, the dupe, the imitation inspired by or however you wanna say it. Speaking of dupes, uh, I want to do a longer video about my whole dupe collection. I'm only gonna talk about two in this one, uh, but if you guys are interested, I will give you my updated dupe collection and I will, I, it's pretty, I have a lot. So just let me know if you wanna see that cause you know, I, I would love to do it. Um, I did record that one before, but it was like a long time ago and I've gotten more. So, you know, it would need an update. Okay. so blah 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 let me get to the fragrance the first one is this is the sample okay which is called crimson rocks by homage or homage i'm not sure how to pronounce that homage um so this is the little you know the little sample thing here um oh so it gives like a little description of it i didn't even read that before but anyways i'm not i'm gonna i could put the notes up for you here i'm not gonna get too into detail i'm gonna make this short and sweet but this is not for everyone definitely not for everyone this is a spicy rose it's woody it's loud and this is more of a i don't know if it's really appropriate i mean i guess you could wear it whenever um but it is pretty loud so and it's not a crowd pleasing type of thing. No, this is, you gotta be into rolls, you gotta be into spice and woodiness and different things like that. Um, so if you're not open to that, then, I mean, you can still get a little tester, but, so I have it right here. And so now, uh, like I said, it has, um, if, oh, I, if I didn't say it, it has rose, it has honey, it has oak, it has cinnamon, okay? So when I first smelled this, it gave me vibes for Christmas. I, I don't know why. I guess it was between the cinnamon and the woodiness that kind of like made me think kind of of Christmas. But what does Christmas have to do with roses? Nothing. But that's what I thought of. So that's that. And this is the original one, okay? And I have it on this strip here. Now I have the imitation. This is the dupe. This is called Abrage Carmine by fragrance world and look at this okay as you can see they got they imitated even the packaging and everything the the colors of the uh and what you see here is definitely brings the vibes of what it smells like so this is it look at that and this is definitely you know they're trying to dupe it i mean like they are not trying to hide it at all if you see the original um i'll put up a picture here of the crimson rocks just look at this. Look at them. You know, you knew, you knew what they were doing. So that's that one. And I have on this one, I sprayed this one. So what is the difference? How close are they? I will say they are really, really freaking close. They're very, very close. Very, very close. I love this little bottle. Don't you love that? It's really cute. It's very different and classy. That's that. And so I have the original here and the imitation here. And yes, I will give credit to Homage, a niche brand. And you have to understand, I love dupes and everything. And I usually find really great dupes that are 90 to 98%. Sometimes they're like almost identical, but you always will know that a niche fragrance is gonna have more, uh, a little bit more quality or better brand, better blended but when they dry down is when usually you know they are really hard to tell apart 
So it does have a little bit of a difference, but it's so small. I would say this is 98%, okay? Okay, and I asked other people, so they say the same, okay? That's that one. Now the other one, I'm going to show you the box and you will already know what they were imitating. When I found this, I bought it. I was like, oh my God, so many people have talked about this fragrance. Look at this, just guess by looking at the number, okay? What are they imitating? And they are imitating the Rosendo Mateau number five, the most sexiest. This has been all over YouTube. And look at the bottle. Look at this. Isn't that cute? I think it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. And you already know what they're going for, what they're, um, you know, imitating. This one is from, is this Fragrance World? It's Fragrance World also coincidence okay fragrance world so that's that these are um i think middle eastern so okay i researched and researched if it was even worth getting the imitation because i'm like i've never tried the rosendo number five i don't know like everyone says it's sexy and it's great and blah 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 there's a lot of hype okay so i have i ordered my little tester here from a little tube from lucky sense and i put it on here and then the other one from the imitation, I put it on here. So I let them dry down, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what I feel. First of all, they do have that plasticky smell that that a lot of people mentioned. They do have a plasticky smell in the beginning. They both have that, and they're really close. This one, I would say. 97% the same. Some people might say 90. I say 97. Okay. It has that plasticky, but it's definitely sexy. I do like it a lot. This is a sexy fragrance. This is not play, you know, like a fun, flirty. No, this is a sexy, serious fragrance. It is more for a mature woman. Not that it smells mature as in Chanel number no. 5. No mature as in grown okay grown like 30 30 and up like that type of thing maybe even late 20s if you you know so it's a the original is it's just such a tiny difference i'm sorry it's just you know so yes i'm happy that i bought this because it's sexy the the lasting power is good and the plasticky smell does fade. So that's the good thing. But yes, I do get that. And I'm, this is a good one, okay? So I found some great dupes, you know? You're welcome. Go ahead, go buy it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let me know if you wanna watch a, a dupe video for, um, I have a lot, a lot of dupes for niche fragrances and I have some newer ones. So I'm very excited that I could show you those for today. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Until next time. Bye.